Morning, Freezer. I'm going to head off to the CE building this morning and install a toilet for the uh, for the handicap washroom. That way we've got one toilet uh, in that building that actually works. That's the goal. So uh, let's get started on that and then we'll see where the day takes us. All right, dude, we're in the CE building. This is what it looks like. Like they're doing a phenomenal job with the flooring. It looks great. No seams. Everything's glued down. It's amazing. So my job today is to put that in here. Let's get to it. Gonna set it on top for now just to see how she sits. Make sure she sits well. I shouldn't have turned it over yet. Bring on over there. And again, I put two wax rings together. Make it a little higher. Move the flanges on the bottom so it'll fit right in there. Not to worry about cleaning off the edges on that because the nut's already down there. If we take it off, it's going to clean up the threads, so that's not a problem. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some water and I'm going to put some water in there and see if she leaks. Hopefully not. I like to know whether things are leaking or not. It feels like it's got a good seal. And I made sure there's that extra, uh, uh, what do you call it? Extra wax ring around it, so it should not be an issue. But in case it is, there's a C. Ow. 
Now we need to bring towels too, just in case, right? So smart. Smart, smart, smart. Ooh, goes down nicely. Attention, something. Please remove the rubber band. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. For installation. So these go in now for the uh, toilet tank inside. Boom. Down through there. You know what? Before I lose them, down into the toilets. Is there a torque spec on this? There should be a torque spec. Tighten the handles alternately, see, until the tank contacts the front and back of the bowl, achieving China to China contact. Really? Yeah, tight. Alright. I'm going to say that's good. It says China to China contact and it is not moving. So sort of. Almost done with this point. So that's what it fills up to. Let's see how she drains. See if I got it. Fills up. That goes down. It's filling up. No leaks there. No leaks there. No leaks there. No leaks there. Looks good. Last thing to do is to uh, put the toilet seat on. Well, to be fair, the last thing to do is to test it truly with load, but I'm not going to do that. Not on camera anyway. Yes, I have issues. You know that. So I think it's fine. I think it's good. Nothing leaks. It's been sitting there. It's tight down. I'm not going to use it, but I don't want to sit on the top lid. But I want to sit on it to see if my weight uh, is going to affect it at all. Because if my weight affects it, then other people's weight will affect it. Well, no. Not many people are going to be more than my weight, so, you know. I think that's long enough. I think it's long enough. So I've sat on it. I've put weight on it. We'll do that a couple times. 
So now I'm going to uh, silicone around it. I'm going to leave the back open because that was suggested by uh, by the plumber. I like the idea. But we don't have that big honking shim there anymore either, so that's good. Clear, I won't clear. So that's it from a better perspective. Toilet's done, silicone around the front. That's actually clear silicone, so when that dries, that'll be clear. You won't even see that. Everything fits, everything sits nicely, nothing leaks. So far, hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> it didn't leak now, I've flushed it a thousand times, so it should be fine. All right, but I'm over in the CE building now, and I'm basically just gonna trim this stuff up a little bit and see and, you know, put a little bit of mud on some areas so it gets ready for painting. But I want to see what is going to work for, uh, for moldings and stuff like that, right? So that's my goal today. Anybody watch the Chronicles of Narnia? I think I found the, uh, or better I found it because I bought it, uh, the proper, what I think is the proper, or the appropriate molding. It's, uh, it's a panel mold. Um, so just cutting that. 56 and a half, I think, right? So this should go this way. Winner. I don't know how or why. I really don't. Do I need longer ones, really? Thank you. 
the molding all the way along. I think that looks halfway decent. We'll fix up those corners, and that should be that. Hey, Fraze. Hope you had a good day today, bud. Um, got up early, well, got to the CE building fairly early. I was at Rona by 8 o'clock, because I was looking for uh, those, they're called gliding guards. I didn't know what they were called, but they're, they're basically, uh, they're like plastic strips that you put underneath the, uh, the stove or the fridge so that you can move it easily, right? So now that we've got the, the, uh, all the tile gone out from underneath the stove and it's going to be a little bit easier because it's only going to be on, uh, you know, the one layer of stuff, if we need to get back there to clean it and stuff like that, we're going to put these things under it so that then we can just, you know, slide it in, slide it out kind of thing, right? They've got the, the weird little, like, a, almost like a, I want to call it like Lego ends, but it's not, but like puzzle. So you can, you put one that stays underneath the, uh, the legs and then you, I guess you tape that down and then another one kind of fits in like a puzzle in front of it and you can just wheel it right straight out kind of thing, right? So, um, why was it, oh, that's, <laughs> why was I talking about that? <laughs> that's why I went to Rona today. Uh, that and molding, and I was looking for molding to try and figure out the baptismal tank area, but we'll get to that. So I wound up going to the CE building to put in and install that, that toilet in the uh, handicap washroom. Uh, and, and toilets are simple, but they still freak me out because I don't want them to leak, right? And, and that's why I always use like double the, uh, double the wax and make sure it's sealed, right? Um, I was a little bit surprised that the the exit of the toilet seemed smaller than normal as far as I, like normally I thought it was like three inch but this was like two maybe two and a half two and a quarter somewhere in there but regardless it went on and you know no issues uh, no leaks I always check for leaks first the last couple of toilets that I put in here have been one piece toilets right because I feel they've been they're less hassle in the long run but we weren't using, we're not using those at all in the church, uh, but it's way easier just to move the bowl portion, just to load the bowl on, right? It's much less heavy. So, so that worked actually quite well. Uh, no leaks there. And then I put the, uh, the toilet tank on and hooked it all up. No issues. No leaks. Silicone in the front, so it's done. That we now have a working toilet in the CE building, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, now, theoretically, once the um, the bigger room gets done, we can start having things go on in there again, right? Ladies' group, men's group, eventually Sunday school, you know, the whole nine yards. Uh, yeah, and then after that, I, wa I went over to the... I didn't know whether I was going to or not, but I, I wanted to take a look at it at least. And I went over to the, the baptismal tank area, and I, I, I wanted to try and figure that out for the molding. I had to go back to Rona a couple times to get the stuff that I needed. But I think in the end, I think it turned out okay. <clears throat> and again, I'm making cuts. You know, the Bible talks about um, God gave the individuals who were the skilled tradesmen uh, building the temple the, the skills to do the job perfectly, like the, the temple and, and the old Ark of the Covenant and all that sort of stuff, right? And I swear, because I'm working on God's house, that that's what he's done. Because, you know, there's cuts that I make, and I don't make, I don't do good miters. I just don't. Everything's fitting, and everything's fitting tight. Like, that's not me. So, you know, glory to God on that one, because... <laughs> yeah. I'm usually a close enough carpenter kind of thing, right? Carpenter. That's a generous term for me. Ooh, mind me. I don't need it yet, but I can... That's okay. I'm going to make sure. She reminded me of something. <clears throat> we got the, uh, the mast. The electrical mast is being done on Tuesday. So i got to make sure I get uh, some, some of those big honking uh, bolts from Doug to, uh, to do that, to shore that up. <sighs> Forgot about that. But yeah, the, the overall, it went really well today. Uh, it's going to be another day. I may actually slide in there tomorrow just to clean up the drywall a little bit, um, just to get it ready for painting. And then, because once Sharon paints it, we're done, we're golden. We can move everything in there right and we've got to get you know things done for the photocopier and 
I don't know, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, things, I don't know what it was, but what it is, but nonetheless, we're going to get that done. Hopefully that'll get done on Tuesday as well, if the Shaw guy shows up on Tuesday, but, uh, but nonetheless. Yeah, so that was pretty much the day, man. That was it. It worked out well. It was, uh, the toilet went in well, and, and, uh, the molding went in really, really well. I think it looks good. You know, I'm kind of cheating using the molding, but, uh, yeah, so be it. You know, it's, it's way less work, and I think it looks good. It's going to be fine. We'll put some shelves in there, and it's going to be fantastic, so. Yeah. All right, dude, we are in Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advanced against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon the rock. Then my head will be exalted above my enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desires of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Take heart and wait for the Lord. God loves you very much, buddy. Love you too. Miss you. Look forward to seeing you again soon. And I will post more tomorrow.